There's a lot of new data and analyses coming about for Dogecoin and the crypto market. It suggests all the altcoins are consolidating right now because they're only getting ready for a massive breakout later this year. So, let's take a look at it. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. So Dogecoin is currently trading at around 24 cents and is pretty much consolidating. I'm sure that a lot of people are concerned about it, but we have to remember that Dogecoin has jumped over 25% since last week. Now, the important thing for it is to breach its 200-day moving average, which currently stands around 27 cents. I've talked about this before, about how if Doge moves above this, its ascent to 35 cents should be relatively quickly from there. This will prove that Doge is constantly moving upwards, indicating a positive stance for it. Before I talk more about Dogecoin, let's talk a bit about Bitcoin since Doge is clearly following its path at the moment. Now, there are some observers who believe that Bitcoin is possibly overextended. I think that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are overbought to a certain extent and we're only talking about the short term. So if Bitcoin is overextended, we might see a bit of a correction potentially pushing Bitcoin down. If Bitcoin were to retrace to 50k, this might potentially push all coins higher. We might also witness a couple of red days in the crypto market, including altcoins, if it happens. So there's a very real potential that once cryptocurrencies have risen dramatically and rapidly, we'll see a reversal. Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and some other cryptos could eye a potential 10 to 15% correction. This is almost certainly in the cards and therefore you must be ready. So, if you're anxious and want to take profits, now could be a good moment. Still, keep in mind that none of this is financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, so you should definitely do proper research before investing anything into crypto. Now, here's the problem with taking gains in the midst of the biggest bull run in history. Sometimes you may take profits and make large profits, but then you go to sleep and wake up to see that Bitcoin has pumped 30% out of nowhere. Then you lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on how much money you've invested. So, in this sort of circumstance, especially in a bull run for most cryptos, the ideal thing to do is to dollar cost average while you're in a bull run. When things go cheap, when there are corrections, you simply keep buying at these discounts. And finally, by the end of the year, at the end of the cycle peak for cryptocurrencies, you'll be two or three times your portfolio. The next thing I want to talk about is a report from one of Bloomberg's best analysts. He has stated that they see 50,000 per coin for Bitcoin as a crucial support right now. It had previously served as a significant barrier over the last few months, but now that we've broken above it, he believes it will serve as a key support. Moving towards the fourth quarter of 2021, as more institutions invest in cryptocurrency, we may see the approval of a Bitcoin ETF. And moving forward, this will be a critical support, and it is one of the many reasons why people are so positive about cryptocurrency. The other thing I want to talk about is that the CEO of Valkyrie just stated that Bitcoin is a true digital store of wealth, and she said she does not believe Bitcoin is a fool's gold. And basically, she's going against what Jamie Dimon from JP Morgan had to say about Bitcoin. Although Bitcoin is still in its early stages, it is an excellent store value. It has established itself as one of the strongest monetary networks, and when it comes to the digital dollar, she believes it would consolidate and enhance the argument for Bitcoin. So if we ever have a CBDC, Bitcoin will be a part of it, and she was also saying that Jamie Dimon doesn't know what he's talking about. Also, JP Morgan and institutional investors are selling gold for Bitcoin, citing an enormous inflation on the cards. Now, with the release of this report, we are seeing a lot of institutions adopting crypto as their safety net. If you put it into gold, there are dangers connected with it since gold is more difficult to purchase. When it comes to gold, it is common to be taken advantage of. You frequently need to have someone else keep your gold in order for it to be functional. And if you try to hold your own gold, there is a security risk or you must pay for security. So, although there is a lot of danger and a lot of issues with gold, Bitcoin is considerably easier to invest in. That's why institutional investors, both large and small, are opting for it, which is resulting in some of the large price fluctuations we've witnessed in the last four days. The next thing I want to talk about is crypto's mass adoption. Bank of America just introduced its crypto research team. 
They also came out and stated that if you look at the number of businesses that have referenced cryptocurrency in their earnings, we've seen a nearly 10x rise from last year. This year, 147 companies addressed cryptocurrency in their results call. If 147 corporations mentioning crypto in the most recent quarter doesn't get you excited about investing in them, then I don't know what will, because having that much of an increase for institutions mentioning crypto is very exciting. This means they're going to start investing more and implementing more blockchain technology and cryptocurrency technology into their business. This excites me not only in terms of this, but also in terms of broad acceptance. We're also seeing that the United States' fifth-largest bank, U.S. Bank has now established a Bitcoin custody service that would essentially allow investment managers and hedge funds to hold their private keys for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. They will also think about other cryptocurrencies in the future, but for now, those are the ones they're giving. This indicates that there has been a high demand for Bitcoin services. Even the Soros fund management is getting in. Their family office just got into Bitcoin, so we're continuing to see more mass adoption. And I think this is a fantastic time to get into altcoins and buying the dip. Now, let's talk about Shiba Inu for a minute. So, Shiba is up 216% in one week with some support from Musk again. As I previously stated, if you buy in companies and cryptocurrencies that Musk invests in, you're likely to do extremely well. Because if he invests in it, he'll talk about it, and a single tweet from Elon, Musk can drive a cryptocurrency up by as much as 216%, which is incredible. So, if you see someone on Twitter raving about a stock or a cryptocurrency, it's generally a smart idea to invest in it before it gets popular and a lot of others buy into it. So you have to pay attention to what Elon is saying because he's actually changing the entire market with a single tweet. So this crypto boom increased Shiba by 91% in 24 hours as a result of Elon Musk's comments, and then it increased to 216%, and then it got up to over 300%, so it's really quite powerful. Now, another big news was that Coinbase is now expected to exceed third quarter trading revenue expectations due to Bitcoin volatility. A significant driver of trading activity has recently raised the exchange's volume, according to analysts. So, as emotion and enthusiasm for crypto develops, more individuals get into it. They'll seek out safer and safer trades. And this implies that you're better off paying a little charge with Coinbase and knowing your money is safe than buying it on another exchange and maybe never gaining access to it again. I. There are people who bought on Gemini and other marketplaces and it took them three or more months to get their money back, during which time they may have experienced many highs and lows. Now, if you acquired Bitcoin for 30k in January and had the option to sell it at 63k in May, but that exchange didn't let you since you couldn't access your funds, it would have been really disappointing. Coming back to Dogecoin, I still think that it's only getting started for its massive bull run. Look at the entire market cap right now, which is 2.32 trillion. Personally, I think we're going to touch 2.5 trillion by the end of this week. I also think that Dogecoin's share of the entire market will slightly increase also because it's very closely tied with Bitcoin right now. We saw how all the altcoins were consolidating two days ago except Dogecoin, which was rising just as much as Bitcoin was. We now have roughly two and a half days remaining in the week. So, my prediction is that we may be looking at $2.5 trillion by Monday. And this is something we haven't seen since May, when Bitcoin was at an all-time high. And this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye. Take care.